KiddioGo presents Genius Insight Sleep and Supplements with Dr. Milan LeBray. Do you ever feel like you aren't getting enough sleep? That you find yourself tossing and turning night after night? To combat these issues, maybe you've changed your diet, taken up exercise, or even cut out your favorite sugary snacks. But are you finding that nothing seems to work? Are you wondering what your options are? In previous Genius Insight episodes, we briefly touched upon some natural supplements that may help you achieve the sleep of your dreams. In this episode of Genius Insight, we will cover a variety of supplements that you can take to help improve the quality of your sleep. We'll go over many different ones, ranging from magnesium, melatonin, chamomile to valerian root. While all these can help improve the quality of your sleep, the most important start is to make sure you follow a healthy diet and exercise plan. If you're interested in taking these supplements, be sure to consult with your doctor to make sure they're right for you. But before we dive into this topic, I want to thank you for continuing to watch this channel. Without your continued support, we wouldn't be able to grow as a channel and company. If you like what you learned today, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Let us know if you've learned anything surprising today in the comments below. Now let's get started. Let's start with magnesium. Magnesium is involved in several essential body functions ranging from regulating blood pressure, blood sugar, building bones, and our DNA. Studies show that magnesium helps regulate the neurotransmitters directly related to sleep. It can help control the quality and depth of our sleep. Upwards of 75% of adults suffer from magnesium deficiency. However, if you have a balanced diet of leafy greens, nuts, and grains, you should have enough to be considered healthy. However, if you are an older adult, have type 2 diabetes, or have gastrointestinal disorders, or abuse alcohol, you have a higher chance of being deficient. If you plan on using magnesium supplements, please be sure to consult your primary doctor. After getting approval, look for magnesium glycinate, about 200 milligrams, or magnesium citrate, 200 milligrams. But keep in mind that magnesium oxide is a stool softener. So if you take that right before bed, you might negatively impact your sleep by having to wake up to use the bathroom. Yikes. Another supplement to consider is melatonin. Melatonin naturally occurs in the body and there are steps that you can take to help with the natural production of melatonin. Fun fact, your body's melatonin levels rise about two hours before bedtime. To maximize this, you should keep the lights low, put away your smart devices, and make sure that you are far away from your TV. Some other ways you can help naturally produce melatonin is getting enough exposure to sunlight during the morning or afternoon. Who knew those afternoon strolls could be so beneficial? If these practices don't work and you want to take a melatonin supplement, it's best to start with a low dosage. Start by taking one to three milligrams two hours before bedtime. If you're a jet setter and need it for travel, start a few days before your big trip and try to sync your sleep schedule with the country you're traveling to. However, stop using it if melatonin isn't helping after a week or two. If it does work, just take it for a month or two and then try sleeping without it. Who knows, you might have made better sleep habits to increase it naturally. Be sure not to take it if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, have autoimmune disorders, seizure disorders, depression, diabetes, and high blood pressure. Melatonin supplements can raise blood sugar levels and blood pressure. So make sure you talk to your doctor before starting any sort of melatonin supplement. Well, all this talk has made me thirsty. So this brings us to our next topic. What should we drink in the pursuit of sleep? First, a little myth busting. It is a common misconception that alcohol helps you fall asleep. However, this is not true as it actually disrupts the natural sleep cycle. If you're looking for a beverage to help you snooze, there are a few good options. First, there's warm milk. This is not an old wives tale. As it turns out, that cup of warm milk can actually help. Warm milk is believed to stimulate chemicals in your brain that mimic tryptophan. This is a chemical building block for serotonin, which helps with sleep-to-wake transitions. Chamomile tea can also be helpful. 
Studies have been inconclusive, but it is believed that the flavonoids in the tea may interact with the benzodiazepin receptors. These receptors can also help with the sleep to weight transition. Now these are some drinks we can say bottoms up to. Now for our final supplement. This one has been used in medicine since the ancient Greek and Romans. Valerino officinalis, or valerian root as you might know it, has many beneficial qualities, one of which is improving sleep. Research has shown that it may reduce the time it takes to fall asleep and improve the quality and quantity. If you're interested in taking valerian root, it is important to start small. 300 to 600 milligrams per day is the typical recommended dosage. However, keep in mind that valerian root isn't without side effects. You can experience headaches, upset stomach, drowsiness, dry mouth, heart rate change, and more. Also, if you take sedatives, anti-anxiety meds, or other sleep medication, you should avoid valerian root. And the same if you're pregnant. So if you're interested in trying valerian root, consult your doctor to see if it's right for you. Wow, we've covered a lot of ground, and hopefully all this information has set you on track for a restful night of quality Z's. But before we go, let's do a quick review. Number one, before starting any new supplement, be sure to talk with your doctor. There are some potential side effects, so it's important to know the risk and rewards. Number two, magnesium helps regulate many different parts of your body. If you consume a healthy diet with lots of leafy greens, nuts, and whole grains, you should have enough to be considered healthy. However, if you plan on taking magnesium supplements, consider magnesium glycinate, 200 milligrams, or magnesium citrate, 200 milligrams. Number three, melatonin is a substance that is naturally produced in the body. To encourage good melatonin production, you can remove digital devices from your sleeping area and make sure to go outside and get some sunlight during the morning and afternoon. If you are interested in taking this supplement, try one to three milligrams a few hours before bedtime. Number four, Valarian root helps with easier transitions into sleep while improving your quality and quantity of sleep. If beginning the supplement, start with between 300 and 600 milligrams. With a combination of a good diet, exercise plan, and healthy lifestyle, you can use some of these potential vitamins and supplements that can help increase the quality, depth, and length of your sleep. That's it for this episode of Genius Insight. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you next time.